Underlines. Overheard. It could be a river or just a rumour. The roar of the crowd falls into the meadow under the pavement and the day does a runner. Farringdon Street shakes off its cars and changes back to the River Fleet. In the city, beneath the city... It's mirror, it's twin, everything shuffles down. Through hidden springs and sacred wells, passages, caverns, secret vaults, and then you hear it coming. The river turns to steel and crackles. Lines crisscross, laid deeper and deeper in time. A musical score. And the crowd passes through it in a swooping dance. Ducking and diving, sidestepping, arriving. But no crowd is only a crowd when faces appear when you hear your thoughts as if they have spoken. Words hang in the air. One counts off things to do on a list. One looks at a screen and remembers someone they lost. One hesitates at the door, feeling an angel's hand in his hair. One rides underground on a freedom pass, taking care not to look at her own reflection in case it's not there. One wants to sing for joy, two are on the way to buy a ring. Um, weekends tends to be a lot of couples because we have Hatton Garden up the road, so all these loved up lovebirds getting engaged, picking out diamond rings. Yeah, it, it is quite fun people watching actually. When the last train goes and I close up the station and I have to do a station walk on my own and it's just empty, um, yeah, my imagination goes a bit mad sometimes. It's only an escalator down, a staircase up, a drop through a shaft, a climb over laddered stories. An excavation into all our stories. You walk this mile a million ways, and there are days when the light is a wing brushed past your face. Times when you listen in and hear the city speaking. I'm site manager for the Farringdon West Ticket Hall uh, for the new Elizabeth Line station. For me, it, it's a great feeling. When you actually go downstairs, you get to feel sort of like the cavernous spaces um, that are down there. We found, I think it was 27 bodies um, that were lined up in one of our grout shafts. And they're all laid out in two rows. Um, so we found out that this was early plague victims. It's quite a, quite a special moment to actually see the, the layers of history going through London. The lines are drawn from living hand to hand and drawn again through ancient bones. That remember every hurt and harm, their own chemical signature written in, telling how they lived and moved, what they ate and where they came from, signed over and over with the words of their life and their sentences. At the Crossrail excavations, we discovered evidence of the Black Death Cemetery. They were burying people on the site for at least probably 100, 150 years. The cemetery is recorded as being a cemetery for poor strangers. So it seems that there was an aspect to the cemetery where they were, at, were burying people who came from outside London. But to a large extent, we're looking at what, what this person's life was like rather than their death. I think, to quite a degree, you could say that the story of these individuals is written in their bones. All life is here, where the smooth fields were, and in the dawn when the first birds sing, the animals come lumbering in, lowing gently, unaware. By midnight, there is blood in the streets, moon in the blood. 
the city shivers and changes shape, a market appears. Down from Scotland, over from Wales, the livestock came, and the farmers driving their beasts for miles. So many outsiders who came from far, strangers who came from further. From the top of the tower, the woodcock hears rush hour and still reads the street as river. Concrete as cliff face, rooftop as rock. The skin of the city is porous to those who remember with wings, with beak and claw, with radar or root. At dusk, the eyes of a fox rake the walkways. Bats flit over the lake. Field mice mistake the tunnels for burrows. Black red start returns to the ground, signed into its bones. Disturb the earth, burn it or bomb it, do your worst. Poison it, churn it, and its memory still runs far beneath like a river. Grows back green with fennel, nettle, chamomile, chervil, watercress, crabapple, mugwort, dock. The seeds of hope that unlock the spell of healing. <laughs> 